Hi. So you've made the decision to make a change. You've you've got it into your system that you're going to do this big change, whether it's retirement, change your career, step away from the corporate lifestyle. You are motivated to do it and you take that action and then you're a bit like when a pigeon soars up to the sky and it stops and pauses right there. And then it flows into its new life. You're at that little bit, right at that point where it's going. Oh. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, how can we make sure that you do actually soar rather than falling? Because some people do actually end up going back to their old life. They end up leaving retirement they end up going back to a corporate job because they just don't know how to exist in the new version of of themselves. And it's because over time you create and develop who you are. You've spent many, 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 many years, depending on your age, cultivating this version of yourself that exists now. And all of a sudden you want to, you've put things in place on the outside that are going to take you into the new life so you might have done training you might have done um you might have created a bit of a pot of money to support you to give you a bit of time however when you go into the new version of life it can feel really uncomfortable for one thing in particular, if you've retired or you're changing your career or you're stepping away from the corporate life. So if you're stepping away from a corporate life, that can be fast, hard driven. It can be um, confrontational in how you are with other people sometimes, depending on which industry you're in. And then all of a sudden, You've chosen to live this life that's gentler and softer and slower, but you're almost like your nervous system won't allow that to happen because it's still in a state of survival and fast and and if I don't achieve this, if I don't do something, if I don't create output, if I'm not productive, then it's all going to go wrong. Life's going to go wrong. Things are going to be... A problem so there's still this mentality of being at risk under threat so what do we do to start off with well in the very very beginning breathe if you breathe slowly into your body it helps your body to know that you're not under threat because you don't breathe slowly when you're under threat you breathe at a much higher level up here in your body and it's faster because it's getting you ready for action. So slowly breathe and do that really, really often. Every day at several times through the day, remind yourself to do that. And that's going to be a new part of the process to put into place. Just to remember to take deep breaths to slow down. Because after all, isn't that what you're doing all this for? Um, next thing is, if... Find somebody who's already done what you're doing. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but at least let it be similar. If it's somebody who's retired, speak to them. Somebody who's already in it, already doing it. If it's somebody um, who's doing a job, if you know, if you've changed your career, either talk to somebody who's come from a corporate environment and into a new career uh, that's not corporate based, or just find somebody similar. I worked in corporate environments for 20 years, so I know how different it is. You can always contact me on www.valeriumbaycoaching.com um, and you can work with me. I am a life coach and I can support you through this. Um, you just go on the Get In Touch form uh, page, fill in the form, and then we can have a free conversation about how I can support you further. The next thing is journal, write down what's going on and start to change the process of your day. So you may find at the minute you're still getting up at the same time that you were getting up for, for work. You're still trying to run your routine in the same way that you would if you had the previous job that you were in. 
So what I'd recommend is maybe set your alarm for an hour later or set your alarm, allow yourself to sleep in until the time when you were meant to start work. You probably find this does create a little bit of stress. <laughs> um, breathe through it, just breathe through it so that your body and your mind starts to get used to the fact that what you were in maybe for 20 years like me, you're not in it anymore. Um, it's called cognitive dissonance and I've mentioned this in a few of my other videos and I haven't got my bubble to show, I have. So, oops, here is where you were in your old job, here is where you are in your new life. Your mind wants to keep going back, springing back to where you were in your old job because it's what it knows. It's safe, it's familiar, it knows how to behave there. So you have to keep recalibrating back to this point so that this starts to move this way. So we get to your new life. And to do that, little steps, little steps, little changes will make all the difference. Um, try to do things around um, focusing on your body. So whether that's uh, joining a gym, getting um, a personal trainer, um, or just changing your diet a little bit. Do things like that that would represent how the new version of you would live and it will also help you keep moving to help um, process things through from a mental health perspective it will help to release cortisol and everything by getting your body moving um, which it can be released through stress and also clearing any build up of, of adrenaline um, these are all top tips for you. I always try to keep these videos fairly short just to help you through your day. Um, so I'm going to leave that with you. Little Luna's over there. She's having a nap. So, um, you know, you can follow her lead and even have a little nap in the middle of the day because you are free to do that now. If you have moved out from a corporate lifestyle, I wish you lots of luck. I send lots of love and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. This is Valerian Bay. I am Suzanne Primer and I am a life coach. Love and life is what I focus on. So feel free to work with me going forward. Take care. Bye bye.